everyone, welcome to DIY Tuesday. My name is Courtney, and with us today is Meredy from My Waves, and she's going to be talking to us about the carry oil stick today. And I'll turn over the time to her, and she can get started. Good. Hey, Courtney, thanks. You're welcome. I'm excited to be here. I'm hoping that you enjoy this. Every time, I love to demonstrate this, because it's an aha moment for you. You're gonna look at this, and you're gonna go, Oh, that's what that's for. Um, we sell out of these every time we have a demo, and that's what we're going to do is learn why we have carrier oils, who cares about carrier oils, what's the difference between a carrier oil and an essential oil. These are just little questions that you never think to ask. I have six kids. I got involved in oils when they were little, long before um, doTERRA came along so that I could, um, I played with them a lot and I looked for different ways to use with my kids. And so the whole time I was thinking is how could I do this simply? How can I do this with no mess? How can I put it in the right spot? How can I get my kids involved in this? And from that I, I developed two philosophies. One was to keep it simple and the other was to keep it yours. Meaning I had to individualize it. And that's the kind of the philosophy of my base. They're base products made for essential oils, formulated for essential oils only, um, that uh, keep it simple and make it yours. So, okay, so the little history, real quick, so you, we're going we're gonna to have a little building block. Just uh, put a couple building blocks together and paint a whole picture. Okay, Courtney? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... In Europe, um, essential oils became popular through the medical profession. So over there, the doctors would use it, and then people would take it on. The society would take it on. And so it had a professionalism about it. And uh, uh, over in Europe, if you go over Europe, the main way that they use essential oils is in suppositories. Oh, wow. Over here, that's not the case. We don't like to even say that word. But over here, um, we got our, our essential oils came our way through England, and then it came to America through massage therapists. And so these were touchy-feely people who loved to put things on and feel the oils. And so it's taken a long time for it to get the credibility that it deserves. I'm internationally licensed, and so that means that I go to these uh, international conferences, and they just had one down here in Ogden. And it was fun to meet up with these well, well-known uh, uh, professors and spec and uh, what well, anyway the people who know what they're talking about from Australia and from France and who has turned this into quite a science. Um, and while there, they reiterated what we already know, uh, but we don't talk about it enough. Is the importance of a carrier oil? They're vital. Um, uh, the only reason we use them is if we run into a hot oil. If you're a massage therapist, you put your oil on and then you rub on. Or if uh, you put on a hot oil such as cinnamon or oregano or something, and then we have to quickly dilute it. Because if we put water on it, it just makes it burn more because water and oil don't mix. Um, so, uh, uh, okay, so I lost my place. <laughs> You did. Awesome. So I love this, and I always uh, show the customers at um, the store, and you can just put it on right here and while the oil is being dropped on, and it helps it dilute it. It's really nice. I yeah. It. yeah. Okay, so, you, so you're absolutely yeah. right. Okay, so there's three reasons you should use an essential oil. Um, and all of them have to do with, um, I guess there's four reasons, all of them have to do with putting oil on your skin. If you're going to make a suppository, you don't have to do this. But if you're going to put it on your skin, putting it on your skin is called NEAT, um, uh, and that means you put it directly on the skin. Um, uh, uh, professionals don't say, to do, they say don't do that because of the concentration of the oils. So, um, they say to put some kind of a carrier oil on. The difference between a carrier oil and an essential oil, do you know this? I don't want, you can tell me. I don't. <laughs> now, carrier oils are called fixed oils. That means that they're fixed, they're heavy, they don't float into the air. 
aromatherapy oils or essential oils float into the air, okay. right? They are light and their molecules go up into the air. So if I took, if I, I opened up this bottle and just held it right under here, would you smell it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, smells good. Um, I like that one. That's balance. Um, so what, what carrier oils do is if you put a hot oil on, then you put a carrier oil over it, it just dissipates it all over the place. So that's one thing it does is, is it spreads it so that the molecules of the essential oil spread all over to your skin. That saves you from three problems. Number one, it saves you from burning on your skin. So you know oregano will burn or cinnamon mm -hmm. will burn. Definitely. Also, it stops you from um, uh, uh, sensitivities. If you get, um, they, they call them sensitivities or allergies. The more people that are using essential oils, and it's becoming extremely popular, the more people that use them, the more you find little quirks. Somebody's going to have a quirk. And you want to protect yourself from being the one with the quirk. And the quirk is having some kind of an allergic reaction or a sensitivity reaction. Those happen because either one, um, uh, uh, it's, uh, let's say that you put um, lemon all right on your skin right here, and then you break out in a rash. Okay? And then it, it welts up, it starts to itch, it hurts, and it'll go away in one or two days. That's, called, that's an allergy to it. And you're lucky that it went away. But if you used a carrier oil first, because you're not putting it directly on the skin, and the carrier oil acts as a buffer, it, doesn't, uh, it won't irritate the skin. Um, the other reaction is there are a few people, I've met one, so far, but there are a few people that when they put on one oil or come in contact with one specific oil, it reacts to their body that they have a, a, a highly allergic reaction to it, and um, uh, they'll, they won't be able to use that oil again. They, the studies that I just read said that up to 20 years they won't be able to use that oil again. So let's say if you were allergic to um, uh, lemongrass, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to use lemongrass again for 20 years. But if you would have put a carrier oil on first, then uh, uh, it would have dissipated it enough so that your body could absorb it at a, at a good rate and you wouldn't have a reaction from it okay. at all. So it stops uh, um, reactions. reactions yeah. Okay, So that's, that's the main thing that it, that's one of the main things it does. The other main thing it does is it stops the flash. Okay. Have you heard of that? Mm -hmm. You've heard of the flash. Have you heard of the flash? Okay, Dr. Hill is the one who made that um, term popular. Nobody had said it, as far as I know, until he said it. And he showed a demo of where um, he, put, he took his blood and pricked it and saw all of his blood that was coagulated and stuck together. And then he put balance on the bottom of his foot and, uh, and then the blood vessels all straightened right out. Uh, but he talked. But in that same video, he talks about how the light oils. So, so those are the ones who flash off quickly. Their molecules are lighter, so the light flashes off. They're the ones that you smell first, uh, and they're the ones. So they flash off easy, and they're the ones that you lose the most on. According to Dr. Hill, up to seventy percent of some oils flash off your skin. So that means if you paid a dollar a drop, and I just use a dollar just to make it simple. If you paid a dollar to put your lemon on, a dollar a drop, 70% of that would flash off your skin and not go in where you put it. That means I lost 70 cents and I only retained 30 cents of worth of my oil. Well, that's a big loss. That's a big yeah. loss. <laughs> that makes you think, hmm, so you did, not only did you lose your money, but you also lost the effectiveness. So yeah. you can smell it. And smelling is, is vital, that's really important, but if you want your oil to go into your skin, you've got to have a way to capture the flash. And that's what carrier oils do, is capture the flash. Oh, awesome. So so one of the uh, uh, most popular um, uh, carrier oils is coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, because it's cheap. It's really, really cheap. It's clear, it goes on your skin, it doesn't get greasy, and it goes quickly into your skin. So you want it to go quickly in your skin, and it's antibacterial, okay? So, so that's, that's great. Um, uh, our, well, okay, so this is ours. 
It has coconut oil in it, but it also has other therapeutic oils. You're not just putting, this is formulated to be a carrier stick. That means it's going to carry the oil on. And so it has coconut oil in it. It has shea, which is m great moisturizer. Yeah, on, yeah. yeah, I like shea oil a lot. Do you? Yeah, it works really good on the skin. I have a nephew who uses this for his psoriasis. He doesn't do the oils, but he will do this because shea is super good for psoriasis mm -hmm. and for chapped skin because it just is such a good moisturizer. It also, this also has apricot kernel oil in it, which is very light, so it soaks into the skin really well, good for moisturizing. And it also has cocoa butter. And cocoa butter is a harder oil, so it makes it possible to, to make this stick a, a solid. And it has moisturizing properties of its own. So this is four oils in one, therapeutic grade, and it captures the flesh. So the experiment that I like to show, and this is your little demo, let's say this is peppermint. And have you ever had peppermint close to your eye? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like it? No, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like peppermint? Yes, I love peppermint, but when it's in your eyes, it's not supposed to be there. So it hurts, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, so the demo that you like to show people is when I do this demo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put oil back behind her eye over by her hairline or by her ear because you don't want to hurt anybody, but you do want them to know the effects, okay? And this is a great demo to show how this captures the flash. So I, if I took peppermint oil and I put it back here in the hairline, I just rub it twice, two or three times, and then within mm, 10 seconds or so, the molecules will flash off her skin, come around, and you'll feel it in your eye, right? Yeah. But if I took a carrier stick and I took and I put this carrier stick right here rubbed it on, you don't need a lot, just one swipe will do. Then I took my peppermint oil and then I rubbed it right here twice. I would wait and it would not hit your eye. You wouldn't feel it. And so your body, with your own body, you could find out and feel what this flash is like. This will flash into your eye, this it will get stuck. You save up to 95% of your essential oil by using a carrier oil first. Now, um, there's, there's ideas of whether you use a carrier oil first or last, and so the rule of thumb is, is if you want to get it on quick, and you want to help it go into the system, and you don't care if you lose your money or lose the flash, put your essential oil on first, then put the carrier oil on top. If you do care about that, and so normal basis, you would just put it on, put your carrier oil on. Did you see that, just that one stroke? That's just one stroke. And if you feel it, can you feel that on your skin? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. It goes on really thin, but you don't need a lot. Um, this is our small stick. It, we, call, we put it in the shape of a glue stick because that's exactly what it does, is it glues it onto your skin. Okay? Um, so then you put that on, and then you take this, get your one drop, and stick it on there and rub it on your hand. Okay? Wow, that's way easy. Yeah, yeah, way easy. So it's very helpful. I have a daughter who is in soccer. So I gave her the carrier oil and the oil for when she got bumps and bruises. She put it in her soccer bag and it's only stayed there. Because she was not going to take this out, pour it on her hands, and then rub it all over her legs and then put the carrier oil, the essential oil on there. That's too much of a pain. Uh, she just wouldn't do that. Instead, I give her this, it goes in her sports bag, and she grabs it like an athlete, because it's big and thick, twists the lid off, and then rubs it on her leg, and then puts the essential oil on it. It fits her lifestyle, fits her mentality. This fits the mentality of my son also when he goes to the sports gym or he gets uh, sore muscles from working out, because he's into bodybuilding, right? Mm -hmm. um, my husband, when my husband comes home, I have tried, and he has worked all day, and he's real tense in the shoulders, and I have tried to put a carrier oil on the shoulder, and then add an essential oil, and it gets oil all over his shirt. Not good. He doesn't like it. He won't let me do it anymore. Now I take the carrier oil, and I say, Clay, can I get you? And then I put this on, put it down, and I say, here. Have some essential oil right on there, and he'll go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, it's definitely quicker and easier. And 
I'm sure kids like it too because it's just nice and it's good moisture. So if you're too. if your little teeny bopper or your five year old gets it because he wants to do what everybody else is doing, he swipes himself and then he drops it. <laughs> I don't care. It doesn't bother me because it doesn't spill on my floor. It doesn't ruin anything. It's okay with me. While this will spill in the diaper bag, this won't. While this will spill in my purse, this won't. This is, it's made for convenience. It's simple, it's effective, it's clean, and it's yours. Those are the criteria, remember? So, here with my base, we keep it simple, and we keep it yours. Oh, and, do you want to tell them that? Yeah. So today, the MyBase uh, Carry Oil is going to be 10% off, and it's such a great deal that I, I really think you should get some. It's awesome, because, I mean, you heard her, she's talking about the kids, and her husband, and her kid goes to soccer, uses it there. It's awesome. I think that will be great. 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 And there's... Almost, there's 850 swipes with this, and there's over a thousand swipes on that, so it lasts a long time. Awesome. Thank you for having us today, and we will love to uh, have this for 10% off, and thank you. Great. Thanks.